try to look at this and notice what I do here. Notice what I do here and see what the survivor does when they keep the pallet going. Like that's actually, that's actually how you curve. This is like, it's, the truth is it's all situational though. Like it's very, very situational to learn. Oh, oh, any truck. Yeah, um, for a sec. Yes, yeah, like you're on the pallet and he's on the other side in the mid, like where you catch up with him. It really depends when you get the opportunity. Like I'll see if they try to run on the pallet or I can just like get like a normal back rub here. Yeah, I'm surprised it kind of just like went that way. Here, let, let, let me let me just try this this way, okay? So say I'm chasing somebody. I have to hold my charge time while I'm chasing them. I have to make sure I feather it. They don't drop the pallet, they go on this direction. So what you know what you do? As soon as they go on this direction, curve immediately here and then try to hit them quickly. If you have engravings, you can actually do it a lot more easier. But if you don't have engravings, you're probably gonna miss. It's a challenge though, but you know, it's I always I always like to do without engravings to make it more challenging for myself. But that's just like a little base a basicality thing to like understand when it when it comes to curving. Are you right here? Or I could just do something like that, because like they started running like right past the wall and I just chose to like curve since I had enough time to catch up to there. I think the truth though is curving is really, really hard. But once you get it the first time and then understand like the, the basics out of it, then it becomes like a regular thing that you can do. And it helps to hit everybody from a distance. Like it literally becomes an alternative to m wanting an injured person. It becomes like a really good alternative though. You see, if I had doubles and she never dropped it, I probably could have got her, but I guess it wouldn't even really matter. If they're already on the other side, yeah, in that case, what you need to do is start early or run engravings. You need to do both of those things, and you have to, I think more importantly, you got to start early, because that's how, that's actually how you get, like, good curves. That, that's how you get everybody all the time. Always start early on a curve if you want to catch up to somebody. But if you have engravings, uh, starting early isn't really going to be a problem for you. Like, you should do super fine. I'm going to go chase the other person. I feel like I actually did hook them too. I need to find someone else though. I'm gonna just see if I can hit them without them winning. Oh wait, they're going into shack and that's shack with the gen. So that's gonna mean trouble for me, I think. I'll just moonwalk. Let's try this. See, sometimes I even miss this one too. It takes a lot of practice, but I mean, I still fuck up a lot when it. I guess all I could say is when it happens, it just happens. Okay, here's the example. Is she gonna draw? Up? Not gonna have enough time. Because she would she would have literally made us to the other side there. I need to get more distance. I need to force her to greed, and then I can probably like curve this way. Just like that. Do you move a little a bit away then curve? No, I don't move a little bit away because that's just an example of like respecting a pallet. I mean, you could do that. You could do that, but be warned that if the, the little tile is, is super small, then you can't do it. And then go towards the MC side. Yeah, this, the empty side is always the biggest thing that really matters. As If it's really long, then you can curve it. But if it's short, then don't try to curve it because you're not going to hit anyone. That's like the one thing I kind of learned when it came to like curving in general. Also, I have no idea what's going on in this game. I'm just going to like move on and just pick up. But I'll, I'll, I'll kind of talk about it a little bit more carefully here, okay? So, if they drop the pallet, forget about curving. Literally just forget about curving and just hit them normally. Just break the pallet and just get like a normal saw. But if, um, if they don't drop the pallet and then they keep going, then that, that literally opens the opportunity to curve. 
But if the, if the tile is really small and they're already like at a really far distance that you can't catch them, um, it's not worth it. Like I can tell you 100% it is not worth trying to go for curves during those times. But yeah, just as a reminder though, just as a reminder, to make curves easier to do, you're better off running dude engravings. To, to challenge yourself and play Billy without any add-ons? So awkward. That was so late too and I wasn't even trying to use that saw. Move away from the pallet. I mean like the object I'm hugging. Um, That's a debatable question. If you're going against the survivor that's hugging the wall and then you can just like curve them and like they don't know that you're curving. If you're going against that, hug the wall. Just literally hug the wall. But that depends if collision is exists. If there is no collision and you can curve it easily, then hug the wall. If there's collision, stay away from it and just like be a little on the outside. That's like kind of the goal. Yeah, like it, it really depends on whether or not that thing has collision. If you have collision, just throw yourself in and then throw it all the way. But don't go too hard or else you'll just like immediately bump. Do you know which objects have collision? You know Blake collision sucks? Um, it depends really. It depends on which map. Here's my advice. If you want a place that has no collision, play Ormond. You'll already know which, uh, which, which objects have collision and which ones don't. Orman literally has like no collisions in some sides. This map has has collision in, in some aspects. Like some places where you can curve and then some places where it's just impossible. That's why I don't like to curve these things because you, you can never curve this. You literally can never curve at all. I don't even know if they're actually working on this honestly. Nope, they're not here. But yeah, like understanding collision is one of the biggest aspects when it comes to curving. Because if an, if an object doesn't have collision, then you can curve it immediately and just fully. If an object does have, have collision, play widely and try to be careful not to bump into anything crazy. So, uh, I have no idea where everyone else is. Like, they, they just completely, they just completely just like started hiding. Someone's right here. I wanna force I wanna force them to drop the pallet, honestly. Or I can just like hit them here. Drop it. Thank you. Doom engravings? Oh yeah, doom engravings especially. Death engravings, honestly, it's good to curve with death engravings if you're running double. Um, honestly, if, since you're starting off with Billy Piso, I recommend only running Doom Engravings and Punctured Muffler. Because double engravings takes so much practice and it's a very, very different learning curve. You, you, can, you can curve so much with Doom Engravings, you'll do a lot more cooler stuff, but it takes so much practice. I would not recommend doing doubles immediately. Like, I, would, I wouldn't even recommend running no add-ons either. Doom Engravings only is probably good enough. Like... You will definitely be fine with just running Doom Engravings alone. Oh, she just messed it up. Which add-ons? Uh, Doom Engravings and that yellow add-on that does overheat like Punctured Muffler. If you run both of those, I think you should be fine. Actually, the second add-on, you can do whatever you want. Just Doom Engravings, like if you just do Doom Engravings, that's it. With, um, with like a random add-on that isn't the other engraving. If you do, if you do it like that, that's probably good enough to like learn a lot because a doom engraving ability can do so much. Like, and I mean like, I mean like so much for sure. Doubles though, if you're running doubles, that's, that's like increasing the fun factor. If you want to have fun with Billy, run doubles and curve with doubles. But be warned that doubles take so much learning. Well, uh, actually no, 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 I'm wrong. Doubles doesn't take that much learning. If you, if you know how to curve with Doom Engravings, uh, running running doubles will be easy to learn. It's, it's very, very simple to curve. If you, like, it's better to curve with Doom. Doubles are really hard. It's kind of hard. I kind of I kind of just want to kill them right now to just move on with the game. The add-on that recharges. Um, I say any add-on because they changed Billy already. 
Yeah, the, the doubles is kind of hard to do, but I think once you learn to curve in general, just doing like doom engravings alone, like it's actually good to curve with that. Yeah, there's, there, there's no recharge add-on for Billy. You know, if Billy had a recharge add-on, I probably would run it every single day, but why do you think I actually play Billy without any add-ons? Just, just let that sink into your head. Why do you, why do you see me play Billy without any add-ons in general? You think play with your food ability will make you go fast? No. Um... That does not work. I mean, that that helps for hitting back revs technically, but it's not it's not really necessary though. 